This is the process shot. I'm Michael. I'm stuck in a haunted movie theater, and I've had nothing to drink. Then again, I don't really drink. Anyways, On the Bowery is a docufiction film from 1956, directed by Lionel Rogoson, that looks at three men living in the Bowery, the slums of New York City, where its denizens spend their days earning money doing odd day jobs and their nights drinking away their paychecks. In particular, the film follows Ray, a man who arrives at the Bowery with the intent to leave in a few days, but after one night of heavy drinking, his belongings are stolen. With nowhere else to go, he ends up as one of the men of the Bowery, and we see what he and others have to do to survive. There's definitely a fictionalized narrative in Ray's story, given the ropes necessary to pull in order to start with his arrival in the Bowery, were this story completely true. However, it's the kind of story that was likely a reality for many of the men who haunt the background of the film, present in nearly every scene but never actually given a real focus. There's a definite feeling of uncertainty and hopelessness as we watch these men continue a slow spiral downward, despite the opportunities available to lift them upward. Then again, while there are services and work positions available, the film shows how they can and are at times ineffective, helping in the short term, but not being enough to truly pull someone out of the brink. The cycle of self-destruction simply continues, pushed forward by the outreach, but never actually helped out. On the Bowery presents Ray's story in a rather stark and simply shot manner, with wide shots when actually on the streets or following Ray as he looks for work, further allowing the scope of the impoverished population to come front and center. When entering the various bars and pubs of the Bowery, Things tend to become a bit more tight on him and those he meets with, mostly to cut out those in the background not involved with the film. But that's a tactic that's broken in one scene that helps to highlight just how hectic and chaotic the environment becomes as people continue to drink and binge into the night. It's all rather confusing yet harrowing, emphasizing the state that these men are in with their only means of escape from the rest of their lives either being a temporary state of freedom or an inevitable and slow crawl into death. While the film shows how there is room for hope and reprieve, it sends the greater message to the audience that more needs to be done if there will truly be any changes made. And even when Ray has the chance to break free of the cycle, others around him presume the worst possibly because they've been in his position too. On the Bowery, Lionel Rogoson, 1956. Four stars. I would recommend seeing this film. That's it for me. If you like this review, leave it a like. If you didn't, leave a comment. As always, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more reviews. Yeah, this movie is pretty heavy on the subject matter, and really kind of uncomfortable to talk about. Then again, that's probably the only way to get the point across. <laughs>